Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I was going to say, um, I did a blog, um, it's not been long since I blogged, but it has been long, I just realised, I, I did a blog, I've done two blog, uh, two vlogs now, um, I did one last week, uh, pre-New Year, yeah I did, and then I did one uh, the day before yesterday, um, uh, what day is it today, God, I'm lost with Tuesday, would have been, yeah, gone lost with days, um, and uh, let me just set this way, I've got the window behind me. Um, yeah, for some reason YouTube sometimes takes ages to download my videos, so I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try and download it from my iPhone. Um, cause I'm recording this on the iPhone now, so I'm going to try and record it and uh, upload it, because yesterday for some reason the um, sort of 10 minute video I did, it sort of took about, um, uh, I think it was... It was like initially it down to like two hundred and eighty minutes to download. It, it did. So I left it off for like I was doing work on my computer, and I had the computer off for like five hours or so. And so it was. Um, and it took that long. And then when it got to the end of it, it said uh, file not supported or something. So it's weird. I'm, I'm having that with a couple of um, iPhone videos. I tried to upload a, 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 a video of another concert we went to just to take them off my iPhone because I'm getting to the point now my iPhone saying I've got no space there for videos. So I'm, I'm trying to delete some or put them on the back up on the PC. Because uh, I'm running out of space, really. So, um, but for some reason, it's it's not supporting this other video either. So I have to look into that. Uh, it's when I notice when the thumbnails don't show a picture of what the video is. That's when I notice that um, it's um, it's not going to work for some reason. I don't know why. It's only, it's only having a couple of times, but it's just um, annoying. Um, I'm going to sit down. So I'm standing up, holding this up. Um, yeah. So happy New Year to all of you. Uh, like I said, I'm just repeating what I said in the video the other day. Because um, I also did a video mentioning about Christmas and stuff. So um, I'll just give you a very, very rough brief guide to that. A uh, guide? A very brief rundown of that. Again, apologies for my appearance. I'm, my to-do list today is to get my hair cut. And the next video I'll do, I'll have a nice short haircut. It won't, I'll be nice and presentable for you. Um, it's sort of ten in the, just gone 10 in the morning here in the UK. So on a Thursday morning. So I'm a bit uh, bedraggled at the moment. So... Um, yeah, Christmas was really nice. I had a really great Christmas. As I might have mentioned to you before, um, last year, I, I, I think I, I might have said it, I worked uh, Christmas and New Year's Eve at night because I was working for the emergency services. So um, I kind of had to sort of leave my family in a lurch. Um, New Year's Eve, also Christmas. Um, I was sort of getting up, doing like a 7 till 7 shift throughout the night and then having sort of three hours sleep. And then um, getting up to spend time with my family before going to work again. So my Christmas last year started on like the 28th of December or something like that. So um, so obviously not having a job is a big deal at the moment. Um, but the one saving grace I can look at is I, I got to spend time with my family. Um, for the first time in a little while. Um, and another really good thing as well. I mean I've been with my girlfriend for six years now. And our families have got on, they've always got on. There's never been, there's never been no uh, malice or anything like that. But... It's just um, sort of getting them together and stuff like that. It's never really happened so much. We've done we've done things outside of meals and, and things like that, but we haven't actually sort of gone to each other's sort of houses as a family. Um, so it was quite cool actually because my um, uh, mum and dad had my girlfriend's mum and dad and aunt over here uh, for ha uh, my and dad's house, and, um, and my you know my sister or brother were here. So my sister was here, my brother. Um, she was doing something else. I'm not sure, but we. Um, Initially, it was just going to be like a historic first family meeting, and then um, my aunt arrived as well because my cousin um, just had a, that day had a son. Um, so my cousin's fiance just had a son. My cousin, he's a bloke, so he didn't actually give birth. But um, so they came around to sort of celebrate that as well. So because uh, they were in the area. Um, but yeah, so it was a lovely Christmas. It was nice to spend all the time with the family here. And I saw my brother, uh, and my sister, and everyone on Christmas Day. They came over. My girlfriend came over on Christmas Day. So we tried to alternate it each year. Um, but I haven't actually had Christmas dinner here for a few years now. So it's been quite nice. Um, so it was lovely. Uh, New Year's Eve was great as well. Um, didn't go out. Stayed in. Um, so like my attitude, I mean, obviously I haven't really got the money to spend. No job and stuff. I haven't really got the money to spend on really nearly fan you know, paying ridiculous amount of money to go out New Year's Eve and even the pubs and stuff are charging a lot of money to go into obviously now and, and sort of double fare or treble fare for cabs and it's just not worth it I mean I used to enjoy going out New Year's Eve we used to look forward to it. I don't know if I'm getting old but I mean since I've been with my girlfriend we have done stuff on New Year's Eve but 
I think probably once or twice we've been out. The rest of the time we've been doing like going around to friends' houses and stuff, and uh, and that was on the cars this year as well. One of my friends was staying in and welcoming us around, but. Yeah, my attitude now, if you don't plan something like sort of four or five months before New Year's Eve, it starts to become a bit of a washout. Because, I mean, I used to do this when I was younger. You get like a week before New Year's Eve and you still ain't got tickets for anything and you sort of get them on the day or whatnot and, you know, it's a bit of a rush. Now, it doesn't bother me. If I don't get tickets for anything, it's not a problem. And Because I, I worked it last year, it was nice just to do something just relaxing. Um, so what we did, we just, uh, I just stayed at my girlfriend's flat um, just the two of us, it was really nice, we had like, you know, we had a few bottles of champagne to get through, and uh, lots of, um, anyway, nice dinner, and my girlfriend cooked a lovely steak dinner, and it was really, it was just nice, and we had a sort of party, two of us, and, um, you know, I highly recommend it, doing it, yeah, every so often, because, I mean, it'd be quite good in your own company, it's not like being boring, not going out, but we had a last of two of us, we put some music on, we danced, and watched the celebrations on the TV, and, Watch the fireworks out the window. Where my girlfriend's work uh, lives, she can sort of see. It's not the London, but it's sort of like the back. It's sort of back so She can sort of see towards. Sort of, she's facing towards London, so you can sort of see fireworks going off. I mean, you see fireworks going off everywhere, but um, yeah, we had, it was nice to actually see the fireworks. And I was in bed by sort of half one two, no staggering home or waiting for a cab or paying. And it cost us, yeah, next to nothing just for the dinner. Really, it was kind of cheap. Um, a few years ago, we did go out and went to. Um, uh, a um, what did we do? We went for, we went for on like a boat ride, which was really cool actually. Like it was a uh, hotel included, and it was like a boat down the Thames, and then dinner on the boat, um, drinks and bar and that sort of stuff. And then um, the the boats come midnight. The boat pulls up uh, in Westminster, right near Big Ben. So, like, all the boats still on them sort of trips. Oh, my finger. Um, all the boats still on them sort of trips. They 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 pull up near the um near the bridges, near Thames, and we, we pull up right near Big Ben, and so we literally had a like, prime view of all the fireworks going off, um, and uh, we'd like to do it, actually we might do that again, possibly next year we'll see, or uh, the year after, again it depends on job and work and stuff, it's obviously the nature of the job I'm in now, uh, sorry, I was in, and um, maybe the job I hope to get, um, it might not mean I'm working, I'm working New Year's Eve, so, um, cause obviously it's one of the busiest times of the year for, the emergency services, whenever all of you get drunk and irresponsible and don't think about what you're doing and call us out unnecessarily when there's people that need our help more importantly and we're coming to treat you because you're drunk and falling down the stairs or you're drunk and just keep puking down yourself. So stop drinking New Year's Eve. Drink but be aware of it or drink and don't call an ambulance or police car or um lifeguard or whatever. Yeah. Um yeah, so that so it was really nice. It was lovely, um, a lovely uh, uh, night, a, lo a lovely, lovely night, a lovely uh, like the past few weeks. But obviously, we're on to bigger and better things now. I've just realised this video is going sort of approaching the ten minute mark again, and all I've done is spoke back about Christmas and New Year. So I'm going to keep this as a Christmas and New Year video, and I'm going to do a separate one for um, other stuff and weight weight loss and things like that, and, and where we are um, at the moment, um, but yeah, so I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, um, happy new year to you all as well, uh, this will be the year, so we'll reach all our goals, and we sort ourselves out, and make sure that we, um, hit all our dreams and goals that we set for ourselves, um, obviously, as you know, I've got lots of goals that I want to be hitting this year, um, I have been since last year, so that's not going to change, um, but yeah, so, work hard, keep doing the best you can, eat healthy, Keep training, and uh, and we'll get there one way or the other. Um, anyway, I'll do a separate video, so I'm gonna cut this one off. But happy New Year to you! Have a lovely Christmas, and um, I'll speak to you soon.